okay? My strategy, I'm going to go with youth over experience because if you think about it, it's a draft. I'm going to build my team for the long haul. I want these guys. I, I want these to get the most out of these guys that I can. So I'm going to go – I'm going to sprinkle in some experience in there. Don't get me wrong. Okay. But I'm going to go with some youth for sure. I'm about to 30 for 30 him. What if I told you <laughs> you Lord. did not have to pick between youth and experience? Well, I mean, that kind of blows my mind. I want to so see what you're Joey don't, Logano. You don't have to pick. Kyle Busch is 33, 34 years old. He's easily got another 10 years. Joey Logano's not even 30 yet. You can squeeze another 15 out of him. He hasn't even peaked yet. And Kyle hasn't peaked yet either. Uh, and, and, you know, then you have some other guys you can, you know, build who are who are super young or young or not at the cup level you can backfill. My number one is Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell is, is – Whoa. See? Yes. See? I'm, I'm telling you, nobody wants – I picked him last year when we did the driver draft as number one, and and I got I got some, some, some flack for it. But Christopher Bell is – Is this the, a cup team we're building? Yes. Yeah, but you, you can yeah, – I mean, Chase. we got Whoa. the whole – Okay. <laughs> so Christopher Bell is the next big thing. Okay. Mark my words right here. A lot of people believe that. I'm not, I know I'm not the only one. How do you know that, though? He can get into anything and win it. Agree. He's like, in I do think I do think he will be very successful in Cup when and if he makes it there. I'm going to put Joey Logano and Kyle Busch in there. Those are the the two most talented drivers in the Cup mm -hmm. Series right now. But if you're you're they're not going to be on the board. If it's me and you, if it's just two people picking, like you're only going to get one of them. So you're you're literally spending your your it feels basing, very 50 your, laps to go. Yeah, franchise. Mid of the pack, Talladega chippy right now. I know. You're basing your franchise off a guy who doesn't even have a cup start. Well, I'm taking – I like to take a risk. I've, All right. I've, I've made bold picks here before. Keep going. One, okay. One through then four. my last one is going to be Chase Elliott. And I know you're probably not going to agree with that one either. That's that's my four-car well, team. Chase is in my top four. Okay. Well, yeah. All right, well, well let's yeah, hear yeah, put let's your hear money yours. where your mouth is. Let's go. Kyle, Joey, Chase, and Blaney. Those are my four. Okay. I think – I mean – you I like the mix, though. Well, you can't, like, so there are guys in the field right now where Boyer is super competitive. You have Harvick, who won eight races last year. And, you Even know, out the old days. And, and Bra I mean, it's, it's going to come to an end at some point. And these other younger guys are going to rise to the occasion at some point. And with, you know, with. 34 with, and up, Merriman. Yeah, but with uh, yeah, with Elliott and Blaney, I mean, <laughs> they've won races and they're competitive every week. They're both with top-notch teams like and, and you know, we're not here to speculate on how long guys have left, but if we're like getting into the philosophy of who we picked and why we picked them, I don't know how many years Truex has left, Harvick has left. You know, That's you know what I mean? Wow. So I I'm not going to put them high up on my board. Now they're within the top 10 in my short list of guys like Okay, but question for you. Tom Brady in his 40s. Who knows how many years he has left? If it were an open NFL draft with every take single him. player, Heck you wouldn't. No. Okay. Why would you take Why would you take Tom Brady at 40 years old? Because I like Super Bowl rings.